Mr. Stevens. Good morning, Father. Please sit. Thank you. I'm sorry, Father. You know I didn't mean to offend. Oh, I'll leave it. Wouldn't want to unsteady the table. with you today. I haven't brought one. Never been a big believer anyhow. Which I'm sure you're aware of. Oh, I'm aware. Which is why I'm wondering why you've called me down here. In this hour. Now it can't be because you want me to give you the last rites now, can it? I haven't, but I know what it's about. Do you believe it? Oh, Father, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye in the past. I've always respected you and your work. Now more than ever, I just need you to help me. Help? You're asking for my help? After all the ridicule you've poured on the church these past years. I don't know what you've been saying. News travels fast. This story, okay, all of it, it isn't true. I went there as a peaceful man and I sit here now with the same virtues. Do you not think I'd have taken this plea if I was guilty of this crime? I'm not a believer in your faith. Yeah, I've got nothing to gain by lying to you. I wasn't aware of any death until being thrown into a freezing cell in the middle of the night. They're using me, Father. Can you not see what they're doing? They're capitalising on any disorder and linking it to terrorist activity. They want the protests crushed and they can't do that without public resentment. Once they had that angle, they could run with it. With a dead officer, no questions asked. So can you tell me how there came to be an officer dead at the scene? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Things got out of hand, there was lots of pushing, shoving, but I didn't see it. Oh, Father. I need you to believe me. They searched my house and found some leaflets. They used fairly rebellious terms, but nothing serious. And then they pull these witnesses out who perform like the best actors you've ever seen. And they call me a communist of all things! <laughs> all right. Get a grip of yourself. If what you're saying is true, then how can I help in all of this? can't change the decision, or what's been printed. But you can tell people the truth. You're a well-respected man in this community. People will listen to your words. I've tried to organise some stuff with a couple of opposition MPs up north. We know folks are nowadays. They don't like listening to politicians. No media outlets want anything from me other than a death certificate. Oh, 
Father, I'm desperate. This time tomorrow, I won't be here to defend my name. I'm not taking a plea just to have my voice trapped in the same four walls as me. You won't hear from me again. And I'm not going down that path. Or for a crime that I'm innocent of. I have a statement. One that could be written at any moment. I can send that to you, Father. It highlights my struggle throughout this whole ordeal. Look past your ties, your connections. Can't you extend your charity for a dead man? I wish your faith in me was justified, Mr. Stevens. But the reality is, less and less people now turn up to hear the word of the Lord. The world's changing. More for you than it is for me. I feel your hope in me has been misplaced. You can send me a testimony if you want. It's unlikely it'll change anything. Bye, Michael.